So it's High Tech Dad, I'm at CES, and I'm in a Ford vehicle, and who am I with here? Hi, my name's Chris Demonick, I'm a Ford product design engineer. Great, so what are you gonna show me here? So today, um, I'll show you the newest version of Sync, which uh, is called Sync AppLink, and uh, essentially it's a way that Sync can talk to mobile apps on your smartphone and actually control them, instead of you having to pick up and physically manipulate the phone. It's a pretty cool thing. Ready to check it out? Yep, let's All right. do it. So, I kind of started from a base state. We're just driving along and we want to you know, execute a mobile app on our phone and start playing with it. I'll use Pandora as a good example because that's a pretty popular application. To start with, all I have to do is press the voice button, which on this car is right here. Press it and just say what I want. Bluetooth audio, please say a command. Mobile apps. Mobile apps, please say a command. Pandora. And just like that, it'll launch it on the phone. And you'll hear it start up here in a second. That's great. Yep. And so we're listening to some some Ford stations, but uh, essentially all the stuff that you'd expect to do with Pandora, you can do in the car now. So think about it. Up until now, if you wanted to do something with Pandora, what we'd have to do is while we're driving, pick up the phone, which is down here in the cup holder, unlock it, enter our code, go to Pandora, and do whatever it is that we wanted to do to get it to change. Well, that's not the best thing to do while you're driving. So what we do with AppLink is the phone can stay tucked away in your pocket, in the cup holder, wherever you want to put it, and when you want to do something, we have voice commands or even some limited buttons here on the, on the uh, center stack. So, so something that Pandora did was, if I've got a bunch of Pandora stations, the first 10 are actually linked up with the 10 radio presets here. So if I want to, just like I would on the regular radio, if I want to hear a different station, I press it. And it'll tune, apparently this is now Rush Radio, we'll be <laughs> listening to, and uh, it'll buffer it you know, over the data connection of your phone, and you'll start hearing it here in the car any second. But that's not, you don't have to use the buttons. The cool thing about Sync and what makes Sync so special is that we use voice commands for almost everything. And so you can do the same thing. If I like the song from Motley Crue, I could choose to thumb it up, which is something that you can do in Pandora. I can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down based on whether I like it or not. And so if I want to hear more songs like this, I'll just press the voice button and thumb it up. Pandora, please say a command. Thumbs up. And just like that, looks that kill, it's thumbs up. It'll play more music like that. Now, I can do other things too. Pandora supports a, a bunch of things. I can create a new station from that artist. I can create a new station from that song. I can thumb up, I can thumb down, I can bookmark the song for later. Play, pause, skip. All the stuff that I'd have to ordinarily go to my phone and do with Pandora, the car can now tell my phone what to do on my behalf. And in turn, the phone sends the audio back to the car. It tells the screen what to display so I can see what's going on without having to actually look down at my phone. That's it's a safer way of doing it. Keeps my hands right here on the wheel. Keeps my eyes right out there on the road, which is the way that it should be. Great. And so right now it's only supported on Android, is that correct? No, uh, we can actually we can support Android, uh, Blackberry, and uh, even the Apple iPhone with a USB cable. So you know, you'll see support for more and more apps come out as time goes on. Um, you know, because what we're doing is we're publishing our, our we're working with, with particular app developers to get our APIs to sync. And what they'll do is they'll make their application sync enabled. So Pandora is another great example of that. If I were to go to the marketplace right now for my Droid phone and download Pandora, I get the Sync app link enabled version regardless of whether I, have a, whether I have a Ford car or not. If I use it sometime during the lifetime of that app, cool. If not, it's no big deal. It makes no impact on the app. But if I have a Ford car, it means I don't have to buy a special version of the app to use in the car. The regular version that I download is the one that's going to work with AppLink. And uh, the three partners that we paired with initially to start, which is uh, Pandora, Stitcher, and OpenBeak, um, they're integrating that into their apps, and the, the app that you get will be the one that works with Sync, regardless of where you get it from. Very cool. So what's coming with Sync uh, in the next year? Any insights? Well, if you stay tuned to our keynote tomorrow, you'll see a couple <laughs> things. Um, my Ford Touch has been big. It's a new interface to Sync and all the things that Sync does. And uh, you know, over the course of the year, we obviously listen to what our customers want. We give them things that they're asking for. AppLink was one. Some of the things that we see in My Ford Touch are other things. And uh, as the year goes on, we'll we'll uh, we promise not to disappoint. Great. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Chris. Not a problem. Thank you. All right.